Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Fear, yet another gaming fan, and we're back here with another DCS Mission Editor tutorial. So, uh, what we're going to do today, as you may well tell from the title of this uh, this YouTube video, is we are going to make a uh, mission, or we're going to show you how you might, in a mission, make an event whereby you would have an ambush of a convoy. So, what we'll do, we'll start off by making the convoy, so we'll go to, uh, we'll go to this, uh, we'll go to the left hand side of the screen here, and we will uh, place down a unit, and we're going to uh, we're going to name that one uh, convoy, not convey. How have I done that? Convoy. There. Uh, we're going to switch it over to uh, let's say armor for the second, and we'll do a scout Humvee, and that's our first unit. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to waypoints here. We're going to switch it from off road to on road, and then we're just going to add a waypoint in further down the line over here, and we're going to make them travel at about 30 knots. I think that'd be good. Now, next thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, add in some more units. So, we've got a few more of these Humvees, like this. And then the middle ones, let's switch them to unarmed. Uh, and then let's change that to be... Uh, what have we got? Let's just have a quick look. Um, buh, 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 buh. There we are, one of these trucks. The... Uh, the M M nine three nine heavy. They are. That seems like it would be about right. And then we'll just do that on the on this other one as well, unarmed. Uh, and the M nine three nine heavy. Cool. So we've got a group here. That's our convoy. Great. That's all done. That's pretty much all we need to do there. Now, if we want to set up our actual ambush, um, what you would normally do for an ambush, I suppose, is uh, you would pick uh, a section where the enemy might be the slowest or where you've got the most cover. So this is probably a safe bet, uh, this bit here. So let's add in a trigger zone here like this, and uh, let's call it ambush, like that. Uh, we'll just make that black for the second, and we'll make it a thousand feet wide, like this. Um, and basically then what we're going to do is we're just going to come over and we're going to make some insurgent groups. So we're going to place this down, we're going to call this ambush as well. We'll call this ambush one, and we'll have this in one section. Uh, and we're going to come down here and we're going to call them insurgents. We're going to change their nation to insurgents even. And we'll go for infantry. And then uh, we'll just do infantry RPG for a couple of them. And then we'll switch them to AK-74s as well. So now we've got 15 guys there like that. Uh, and we're just going to kind of drag them so that they're kind of forming a, a group like this. So let's bring them back a little bit. And you know what, let's spread them out amongst the buildings. I think that'd be a good shout. So we want to have these guys suddenly engage the uh, the American convoy from nowhere, pretty much. Like this. And then we've got the RPG guys randomly around like this. So you know what, I think that... Um, one group for the ambush is probably enough. Um, now, just to make sure that they do uh, aggressively attack the uh, convoy as it comes past, we're going to go to advanced waypoint actions. We're going to set perform task and attack group, and then we're going to set the group to convoy and the weapons to auto, uh, and so they should automatically engage the convoy. Um, let's see, how long is it going to take the convoy to get there? Well, the start time of the mission is 5.30, and it'll take them 13 minutes to get over there. Let's drag it a little bit closer. Right, so now, just to quickly recap what we've done so far, because I have been very quick, I've placed down a convoy, and we've made sure that they're set to be on road. So these guys will drive along the road along here, and when they reach this little town, we're gonna have, this is our trigger zone. So once the trigger zone comes along, we're gonna take these uh, guys, and we're gonna make them attack the, uh, the convoy. So that's what we've done. We've placed down the attacking force, and we've placed down the convoy force, and we've placed down a marker here, a zone uh, for how to do that. If you're unsure about how to do that, I have covered previous tutorials about placing vehicles, etc. Basically, you're just coming onto the left-hand side here, picking ground units and placing them down, um, and then we're just changing the coalition from one to be red and one to be blue. Nice and simple. Zones are this icon here, circle with an X through it, that's a trigger zone, you're just going to rename it and change the size. That's what you have to do. Next, then, to make the ambush function, we're going to go to this little triggers icon here, we're going to hit new, we're going to rename this one ambush, down here at the bottom, 
there you are so that's called ambush now we're going to se select it make sure that we've got it selected it has to be highlighted in black or like the darker blue tone we're going to then hit new and now we need to set our conditions so what we're going to say is part of group in zone so we're going to make sure that part of the convoy group is in the zone ambush so once the first unit has entered the zone ambush or at least one of the units has entered the zone ambush uh, that belongs to the convoy then we will set up some actions for it to complete the actions we will go over here and click new and then we will set that to be group activate where is it here we are group activate ambush one nice so we're just going to make sure as well over here that our group so you see at the moment there is none of these these eight boxes are ticked here now the important thing is to tick late activation what that will mean is that before they activate uh, they will um, they will uh, not be there um, now the next thing that we're going to do just to make sure that they don't appear out of nowhere is we're going to hit visible before activation now this will make the uh, the characters be standing there waiting for an attack um, and then once they uh, once they spot this convoy they will then begin the attack so that's the plan now one other thing if we have this convoy come in here by default they're set to weapon free so it means that they'll see any red four marked unit and immediately go Ooh! and shoot them but that's not how a convoy works like um, that's not how an ambush works we want the ambush to take place and then for them to return fire so we're going to do that by going onto these units and on the first waypoint that they have make sure that it's set to waypoint zero on the waypoint editor over here on the right hand side we're going to hit add we're going to go to uh, set option then roe or rules of engagement and return fire that will now mean that once this convoy passes through this zone the units will uh, will suddenly become active and start shooting at the convoy and then hopefully we'll have a little ambush skirmish going on uh, they will return fire only once they've been shot at and hopefully we will have an awesome uh, kind of convoy ambush effect go on um, so you can use this for many other things obviously you would, might want to space them out so that the ambush is not happening so close to your convoy um, but we're just for the just for the sake of this we're going to do a test I've not turned off the civilian traffic annoyingly so we will have little moments like that where you have random civilian vehicles passing through uh, the the convoy but here we have the convoy uh, you can see them here I've got tabs uh, tags and stuff turned on for the moment just because it helps me uh, check and make sure that everything works so here we come up to the town so I'm just going to use uh, the controls to fast forward a little bit okay and then we're going to slow it down to real time again. Now. Okay, and so on the left hand side of this convoy over here, we should be expecting any minute for the uh, the guys to spawn in. You can see the little red tags appeared then. So they're going to pass through. And hopefully, any second now, all hell should break loose. There we go. And we have gunfire. Come on, lads. Let's see something explode. Oh, it looks like one of them's managed to blow himself up and a few of his mates. But yeah, you can see basically, even though they didn't succeed, that was kind of the. Uh, the rough idea of the the ambush and, and how how you can get it to trigger now even better is you can if you're if you're really good you can use it to trigger artillery and mortars and things like that which would be great so I, I will show you in future tutorials how you can make that function uh, but hopefully uh, that's been a pretty pretty fun tutorial on how you can make a little ambush for you guys so you might be able to do some close air support with that uh, either with maybe an A10 or like you know a general fixed wing or maybe even some rotary wing because we do have the uh, Apache coming out uh, fairly soon the pre-order is obviously available for that as of recording in October of uh, 2021 so this has been Finn or the end of the gaming fell I hope you guys have enjoyed I hope this has been useful to you and I hopefully will see you guys in the next one thank you very much bye